What about an army of hellhounds? Now I'm worried. There's no way we're winning this time round. I hate to say it, but we'll see what happens here anyway. Oh, have they killed any yet? Oh, one's down. Okay, that's good. Unfortunately, this Hydra is not fireproof and it's now dead. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. First suggestion says day two of asking Gary's big, big brother to fight the Titanoboa. Here it is right here. And I also spawned in these humans right here just to show you the scale of Gary's big, big brother and of course the Titanoboa because sometimes I feel like in my videos it can be lost of how big these units actually are. But before they fight, 80% of you watching my videos are not actually subscribed. So make sure you click the subscribe button because it's completely free and you'll be able to see all the rest of my videos. Here we go. I'm actually not too sure who's going to win this fight. I feel like Gary's big, big brother might be victorious. I'm hoping anyway. Oh no, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh my. Okay, great. Let's try that again. And hopefully this time he won't fall off. All right, here we go. Come on, just get those punches in. Oh, man, those fangs on the Titanoboa. So if we check out the health, you can see that the snake is actually losing. Of course, Gary's big, big brother has had a couple of stats slightly altered, which will definitely help him out in this fight. You know what? I'm kind of curious. I wonder if Gary and just Gary could take down the Titanoboa. He's done it. Victory to the big bro. Here we go. We're about to find out. Now, of course... Gary here does have some weapons. He has like the, the claw on one of his hands. And he also has the spikes around his ankles, as you can see. So they might help him out just a tiny little bit. Although, oh no, the Titanic bow has a grip of me. This is bad. It's actually looking pretty equal right now. I'm not sure who will win. Come on. Keep fighting. That's it. Yes. Okay. Oh no. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, Gary's going to do it though. Yes. Gary is actually going to win. Nice. Congrats, bro. Moving on to the next suggestion. It says day seven of asking for a tournament between all your creations and then they fight one at a time. So I've actually had my creatures fight before, but never really one at a time. So I have here the killer T-Rex and also the upgraded Rhino. So let's start the battle. We won't really keep track of these scores. So it won't be like a, a proper tournament, I guess. The plan is just to get them to fight and see who is the most powerful, I guess. Although we have a slight issue. It looks like the Rhino's health is bugged out right now. I feel like the T-Rex here would definitely win this battle. But again, because of that glitched health bar, I don't think they will win. So for that reason, let's try a different fight, shall we? Here we go. I still feel like the T-Rex will win this one, but that spike tail is going to hurt me quite a lot. There's a lot of spikes there. Why does the health keep bugging out like that? What is going on, Arbs? There we go. All right, we have an upgraded lava golem here. Uh, oh no, the health has done that thing again. Now we're never going to be able to figure out who the real winner is for my creations. Although I'm pretty sure Engoru is my most powerful one. And just like that, the T-Rex is now dead. My custom werewolf versus... The Purosaurus. Let's see who wins on this fight. Oh, <laughs> he got launched in the air. He is now dead. But of course, this is a physics-based game, which means he might not lose this time around. Although he most likely will because that Purosaurus is very, very powerful. Okay, he's done a little bit of damage, as you can see. Oh, no. And, well, he is now dead once again. Werewolf has been defeated. Let's see if the polar bear can take down the Purosaurus. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Definitely not. Oh, it got messed up. Next up, we have King Kong. Well, upgraded King Kong, I guess. Here we go. Oh, he missed. He missed with the tail. That's good. Okay. Oh, no. That's a big bite. Oh, Purosaurus. Jeez. Savage. He's still up, though. He hasn't lost any health. Did oh, never mind. Now he has. <laughs> oh, I do forget how strong the Purosaurus is. Whoa, look at them go. Round and round. <laughs> It's looking like the Spirosaurus might actually be a very powerful creation of mine. It's powerful alone. Oh, there we go. Another win. Now let's try Boxagoru. Oh, oh, this could be the end for the Purosaurus here. It's not looking too good for it. Too many boxing gloves, too many powerful hits. 
he is surely going to lose this time around. Yep, he is now dead. Right, let's see what can take this thing down. Maybe this guy is capable of it. Let's find out. Probably not. I'm going to guess he's going to die pretty quickly here. Oh, oh that was a big punch. <laughs> and he is down. Maybe the giant demon stands a bare chance. Probably not because his stats haven't changed. The only thing that has changed really is, well, the added armor and the fact that he's a giant now. Literally, probably my largest unit. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Who won? Oh, the demon. I got Tank Goru here. This is not End Goru, but still very powerful. And there we go. He's been defeated. Custom Wyvern versus Tank Goru now. I feel like Tank Goru is going to win a lot of these battles right here. However, this is the overpowered T-Rex that I made. And this creation might be the only one that's capable of taking down Tank Goru here. Other than End Goru, of course. But anyway, let's start the fight. Oh, wait. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, team two. Start the battle. Here we go. Oh, who's going to win? Oh, no, T-Rex down. How powerful did I make you? Right, that's it. The only way we are taking him down is by forming an army of my creations. So, oh, is that a rhino? That is a flying rhino right now. <gasps> He's fallen over. Now's our chance. Attack. Come on. I've even got my spiked Titanoboa, although it's, it's stuck right now in its own spikes. Yeah, pushing up. Yeah, he's pushed off the map. We did it. Kind of cheating, but you know what? I'll take the win anyway. Well, technically, I lost, but you know, doesn't matter. So those fights were great, but if you want me to do an actual tournament where I track down the stats and everything like that and the wins, let me know. But we're now moving on to the next suggestion, which says day four of asking Fudgy to make Gary's family fight themselves. So here is team one, as you can see. And on the other side, we have team two, the exact same units. But due to this being a physics based game, anything can happen. It's weird to think that one team will be victorious, even though they are the exact same. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. The nephew has fired the grappling hooks. Oh, yes. Hopefully team one will win because then it will say victory to us. Okay, so it's really hard to tell who's on whose team. So let's go ahead and put the rings on so we know. Red is bad. And, uh, well, no rings is my team. Come on. Yes, go dog. Nice. Burn them. Nephew and I think Gary's girlfriend. Oh, nice. You took down the cousin. Now go take down the big bro. Hang on a minute. I just realized my team are winning by quite a lot. I wonder why that is. A lot of them seem to be dead. Okay, come on. You've almost got him. The poor dog is getting beaten up by Gary's big, big bro over there. Come on. He's such a beast. He can survive for so long. Uh-oh. Well, uh-oh for him because that's my team. Oh, look, we did it. Victory. We have a lot of survivors here as well, <gasps> including the hamster. What happened to their hamster? Found it. <laughs> oh, no. Poor thing. However, things are about to get interesting because the next suggestion here says day seven of asking to make a bodyguard for Gary's family. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's quite funny because I feel like the big brother is the bodyguard. But let's just scale him up a little bit. So the bodyguard can be... Yeah, I guess this is fine. Like about there. Yeah, he's definitely not necessary with this fella. But however, actually, let me change some of the stats. Not by much. Just by one, because he is the only one that will be actually trained. He's a trained professional, and he is there to look after them. Now, we could set the AI mode to guard as well, but I'm just going to leave it as the default. So let's go ahead and upgrade him, make him look like a bodyguard. So I say, give him the shades. Yeah, I mean, he's not technically part of the family, so he doesn't have to have the big eyes. Just the shades, you know, because that's a Gary's family kind of thing. All right, let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> a bit oversized, but that's okay. Do we also give him a hat? Uh, I don't know. Maybe just leave him bold. And just like that, I have completed the bodyguard of Gary's family. What do you reckon? I think he looks pretty cool. I think he has the most armor out of everyone as well. And he is the only one with a gun. I have actually put the attack multiplier down a little bit, as you can see, so it's 0.5, and uh, that way it's not too strong. But let's see how quickly we now win with the bodyguard. So here we go. He's already shooting at the other family. Yeah, surely we're going to win so much easier with this dude. 
<laughs> oh, look at him go. He also has a similar thing going on uh, to what Gary has with his hands. As you can see, he also has spikes there. Um, I believe Gary has the same thing. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit different in terms of the design. And it's on both hands. Okay, come on. He's up against the grandma and the nephew right now. Come on, you're a bodyguard. You should be able to take them out. They should be no match for you. Uh-oh. Bodyguard down. <laughs> but it's okay. He did his job. He protected the family. And now, hopefully, we will win. Or no, actually. Oh, no, we are going to win. For a second, there, I thought maybe the other team would win. All right, it's all up to the sun on their team. Come on, add victory. Oh, no, hang on a minute. The hamster's the last alive. No. <laughs> Poor hamster. Even though it's on the other team, I still feel bad for it. Hamster's got jumped. Oh, oh, he got messed up. Nice. Victory to us. Oh, also, he doesn't actually cut his toenails, so they're just really long and curly. Now, this next suggestion might be a little bit difficult for me to make, but it says here, day one of asking for Fudgy to make a Hydra made out of weird dinosaur parts. So let's see what we can do. I have here the T-Rex's like torso, its legs. I'll likely stick to the T-Rex's body and then maybe for the heads change up a little bit. Uh, so let's see. It's a shame we can't have multiple legs like this. But, um, you know, we'll just have to stick with what we got. Maybe give him bigger arms. We could even change the body up if we wanted to, but that looks a little strange. But then again, it did say using weird dinosaur parts. I don't know. How weird do we want to go with this? I'm not too sure. I mean, if we want to go really weird, you know, we, we can. But, um... You know, I'm not going to go that weird. Okay, let's remove that. Now, just as reference, this is the actual Hydra. We want to create this. That's going to be a little bit difficult. I don't know. Maybe we're already ready to add the heads of it. This doesn't look terrible. I mean, it could be better, but it's also not really bad. I don't know. I feel like the middle head should be bigger based on the original design right here. In fact, what if we had all different heads? That would look strange, but also really cool. So I reckon we have the Spinosaurus head to his right. Oh yeah, look at that. And then on the other side, we have whatever this thing is. Or should we go for that one? Let's do this one. Yeah, looking good. Although I think we should maybe lower the size of this side. Eh, does that look all right? Yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll stick with that. Now, I am also going to add some armor to this creation. I feel like with armor, we can maybe hide some of the bad spots like this area here. And now I also need to add a tail. So if we go to limbs and do we stick with the T-Rex one? I think that works best. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stick with that. And let's go for the claws. So I reckon if we make the claws quite large, it'll look less weird. Okay, yeah, not too bad. All right, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep it like that. Now onto the armor. So we can actually blend it in a lot better. So we can hide where the head actually connects using armor like this. And not only that, it will help us out in the battle too. Now, instead of adding armor to the faces, I'm going to add some extra spikes just for the extra bit of damage. Vote now, which looks cooler? My creation right here or the default Hydra? I mean, the Hydra here always looks pretty cool, but I am very impressed with what we got going on over here. Yes, it could be a little bit better, but I'm quite happy with it. So for that reason, let's go ahead and save it and then fight some creatures. Up first, we have a single Hellhound. Now I'm hoping this thing will die really quickly. Yes, come on, get those claws in there. They're chomping on the Hellhound right now. <laughs> oh, this is really cool, actually. Right, how much uh, health? Oh, we've taken a little bit of damage. So what you need to remember is uh, most of the damage will be dealt to the legs right here. So we really need to protect those legs. And that's exactly what those heads are doing right now. And that is a victory to the Hydra. What about an army of hellhounds? Now I'm worried. There's no way we're winning this time around. I hate to say it, but we'll see what happens here anyway. Oh, have they killed any yet? Oh, one's down. Okay, that's good. We've taken a lot of damage though. No, it's too much. It's the fire that's going to do a lot of the damage here as well. Unfortunately, this Hydra is not fireproof and it's now dead. What about a lava golem? Let's see how much damage this thing can do to my creation. Oh, <laughs> oh man, he's getting messed up right now. The Spinosaurus face is getting punched right now. That is definitely a Spinosaurus face, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Come on. Almost dead. Oh, oh. 
he's hanging on for dear life. Just drop him. T-Rex, drop. No, Spinosaur, no, bad. Just let go of him and you'll win. Uh, well, we won anyway. Right, we might as well try Goru. And then after... Oh, jeez, that's bad. And then after this, I'll try some of my custom creations. Because let's face it, none of these actual default units will actually be able to take down this thing. At least I'm pretty sure they won't anyway. Although, that being said, I think Goru is actually somehow winning this one. Are you kidding me? Bite harder, come on. <laughs> wow, Goru. I forget how powerful Goru is. Oh, no. How? How could he take down my three-headed monster? Are you kidding me? After I just said that no default unit could take down my creation. And yet Goru right here has done it. Only just though. I am curious just to try a normal T-Rex though. Let's see what happens here. I mean, oh no. Oh, the T-Rex is bit down so hard on his face that he can't even chomp back. That's what you want though. That is what you want. Look at that. Ooh. Ah, oh, <laughs> look at that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this creation. I feel like we can make it way more powerful if we wanted to. But I like how it is right now, to be honest. Come on. T-Rex is almost dead now. That's three heads just biting at it. And we have, of course, one. Here we have some Spartan warriors about to get messed up. Oh, so not only are they going to bite on the units, but they are also going to stample. Stample is even a word. It is now. Oh, that one's getting thrown away. But yeah, this thing must weigh quite a lot. So, you know, if uh, if he does decide to stand on the enemies, that's going to hurt them a lot and probably kill them. Is that one just stuck? It is. It's stuck in the blades. And now it's dead. So that was actually a pretty easy win to the custom Hydra there. Let's move on to a more powerful enemy. Such as the real Hydra. I am, of course, the imposter. So let's see who is more powerful. Come on. All of these actually have separate health bars. So that might actually help them out a little bit. As you can see, the left head has its own health bar. The right one does. And then the middle uh, has the whole thing. So they're going to have to take all three of them down. I don't know. I'm not really feeling as confident this time around. The Hydra is very powerful. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Come on. Oh, yeah. So it's the claws. That do a lot of damage. That's where it's pretty unfair. Along with the spikes on the heads, of course, as well. Come on. All right. That's the middle one now down. It's only the two side heads remaining. But as you can see, we've also taken quite a lot of damage. Oh, yes. We've done it. Come on. Only one left. T-Rex finished the job and mission accomplished. Our Hydra is more powerful than the original. But on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!